everybody and welcome to the party tonight. Like I said, my name is Amy Wolwind and tonight I'll be showing you some of our top products. We'll be making some salsa, we'll be grating some cheese. Um, so grab your drink and we'll get started. I also have with me um, my business leader to help me do this demo. So welcome Hi Melissa Hi everybody, Chapman. welcome to the party. We are not just a bowl anymore. We have choppers, cutlery, cookware, and the list goes on and on. Um, so we're going to start with our choppers and we're going to show you how you can make salsa in a matter of minutes. So what I'm going to do is I've got some onion quartered up and we're going to put it in one of our choppers. This is our little chopper called the Chop and Prep. Oh, onion. Not, she doesn't like onion. All right, so everything's in this little chopper and it just has a little string to pull just like a little lawnmower. So I'm just going to pull it. Look at that. Nice and finely chopped onion. So you can put the onion in anything and Amy wouldn't even notice it. So it's uh, really small. We also have a bigger version. This is our Power Chef system. Some tomatoes in here. So you can have some salsa in just a matter of minutes, actually, with all of our tools. So just one can of diced tomatoes. If you like it a little spicier, add the fire roasted tomatoes. And then we also have some of our Southwest Chipotle seasoning that we're going to add in here as well. So three ingredients. That smells delicious. One is just a little bit bigger, like Amy said. Uh, the same motor is being used. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull the string here. So that was about six pulls, and there is our salsa. Yum. Was that hard to pull? No, very easy. Okay. Um, that power chef also comes with a whipper blade, so if you wanted to beat your eggs, beat your instant pudding, um, whip some cream, do whatever, you could use the whipper blade as well. You can Put a half a pack of Oreos in there, pull it a few times, and it's finely chopped. Done. So the next thing we're going to talk about is our Great Master Shredder. So this is the Great Master Shredder, and I've taken it apart to show you the different pieces. And the nice thing about this is Tupperware always keeps coming out with different attachments to this product. Once you get the complete system, you'll get this white base here. Um, as Tupperware comes out with different attachments, you'll just be able to add on the attachments, which is really nice. So today we're going to grate cheese with our Great Master. Okay, so here we're going to grate some cheese. Now when you grate your own cheese, the cheese is going to taste fresher, it's going to last longer, and it's going to go a lot farther. It's also going to be a lot cheaper because you can buy a big block and you will be surprised at how much you can get from that. What I do with my Great Master is I'll go to Walmart and I'll buy the five pound block of cheese and I'll be able to take it home, shred it, and freeze it in containers in under five minutes. Um, usually from that five pound block of cheese, I'll get about 14 cups of cheese. So um, very, very easy. It goes a long way. And if you just put a little bit of cornstarch in your container with the cheese, shake it up, it's going to be just like you bought it in the bag and it's not going to have the... Like little wood chips. Wood chips. Wood chips are in your shredded cheese bags. <laughs> Some of the other attachments that can go on this Great Master are a slicer cone. So instead of using your mandolin, you can use our slicer cone and you can just put your cucumbers, your potatoes, your carrots, whatever you wanted to slice in your Great Master and it's going to slice them perfectly. It also comes with a grinder cone and then Tupperware has come out with two new attachments that are awesome for summertime. We have a snow cone attachment awesome. and we have a sorbet maker. So now you can, instead of waiting for the ice cream truck to come down the road, you can actually make your own ice cream. Yeah. Or, instead of a lemonade stand, you could do a snow cone stand and have your kids sell snow cones. Sky's the limit. Alright, our next product we're going to talk about is our microwave stack cooker. This product will go in your microwave and you can actually stack cook your meals. So this stack cooker is, like Amy said, meant to stack your meals, but one reason why people buy this stack cooker is to brown their hamburger. Wow. And get this, it is only five minutes per pound in the microwave. And no way. Yeah. You can just put this in the microwave and go. So up to three pounds of hamburger can fit in here. And what's great is because it goes in the colander inside of this three quart container. So all of that grease and fat and yucky water cholesterol is gonna be in the bottom here that you can just drain off and you're not putting that into your body. You can actually make a cake in here. It comes with a cone, so you can put the cone in the three quart casserole, mix up your cake mix in the Power Chef that we used um, with the whipper blade, and you can just put it in there, eight minutes in the microwave, and it's gonna be done. Perfect cake, done. Wow. You can put your potatoes in the bottom, and then you can put uh, some protein in the middle. 
and then a bag of frozen veggies or some sort of cobbler on the top and put it all in the microwave usually for about 27 minutes and everything will be done at the same time. That is a lot faster than going through the drive-thru. Tupperware has come out with a lot of microwave cooking products. We have a busy lifestyle so they want to make things as easy as possible so we can be in and out and still be able to eat healthy. So one of the things we have is our microwave pasta cooker. You'll stick your raw pasta, your cold water, mix it up and put it in the microwave for about four minutes for serving. How do you know how many servings you have in there? It's got lines in the inside to show you exactly how much water and how much noodles to put in there. So the nice thing about this pasta cooker is when it's done, you can put the cover on and it's got a built-in colander on the side here. So you can just put the cover on, dump it, and it's gonna strain it and then you can serve right out of it. Wow. So one dish and it's done. It also is very time saving because by the time your water would normally be boiled, your noodles are cooked and you're ready to eat. And that sounds like a lot less dishes. <laughs> That's what I like about it. So to go with that pasta, what we like to do at some of our cooking classes, yes, Tupperware has cooking classes, so make sure that uh, you talk to Amy about a cooking class. But we have a smart steamer here, and this is actually the steamer that Dr. Oz likes to use, but this 100% steams your food. So on the bottom here, we have a tray, and we're just going to fill that up with water. And there's a fill line, so you can't screw it up. And then there's two levels, just like our stack cooker has um, three to four levels. We have uh, two for the smart steamer. You can put some salmon in the bottom, and then you could put some asparagus on the top. And then you're just going to cover it and put it in the microwave for about 11 minutes, and everything will be done. Tupperware just thinks of everything. That sounds like a time saver as well. Have you ever heard of a crock pot for your microwave? I hadn't either. I told you we're not just a bowl anymore, right? Tupperware has a microwave pressure cooker. What this is, is a crock pot for your microwave. Take any recipe out of your crock pot cookbook, throw it in here for 30 minutes or less in the microwave, and it's gonna be done. No babysitting, and it saves so much time. It's got a double locking system on it, so you'll spin to turn it, push this down. It's also got this little yellow button. So as your food is cooking in here, this button is gonna pop up and you'll hear a hissing or sizzling sound in the microwave. That just means the pressure's high and it's cooking in here. You wanna wait till this button goes all the way down before you open it up so it's safe to open. You want to make sure everything in here is covered completely with liquid, whether it's water-based liquid or just, you know, barbecue sauce, spaghetti sauce, whatever. Because it's such high temperature and high pressure, anything that's not covered is gonna scorch and burn. So make sure you're covering your food. Three to four chicken breasts, frozen, will take about 25 minutes in here. I'm not kidding, you will not be able to even put a fork in these. They are just gonna fall apart. I love the pressure cooker. And one last item I would like to talk about is our micro grill. Yes, you can put this metal micro grill in the microwave. It tastes just like you're grilling outside on the grill. You can put five hamburgers in here. You could put two steaks. You could also put it on a casserole position and, and make some cobbler because the cover then will not touch the food. There's two susceptors, one on each side, the base and the cover. So the microwaves are only going to hit that susceptor, which will heat and cook your food. So this is an amazing item. A lot of our hostesses pick this as their free or half off item. So so make sure to talk to your host about dating that party so you don't have to pay full price. How many of you, when you think of Tupperware, think of leftover containers? One of my favorite products for leftovers is our vent and serves. These can go in the microwave at, at high heat, so this is the number one reason I use them. Because let's be honest, I don't know about your husband, but my husband does not like to reduce the power in his microwave. So these are perfect because they will not get ruined. So you'll see in my online catalog when you go over to my business page at the end of the party. These are called the vent and serves and there's many different options for sizes for you to choose from. Our other leftover containers that many of you probably have are our crystal wave containers. The crystal waves are not meant for full power. A microwave on high is 500 degrees. So would you reheat your food in the oven at 500 degrees? Probably not. Do you all know how to reduce your microwave to 50% power? Let me let you in on a little secret. Put a cup of water in the back of your microwave while it's cooking and it's going to drop that temperature right in half. As you'll see in my online catalog on my business page, we do have lots of different crystal waves available in different sets. But remember, 50% power. One last thing I want to mention tonight, my absolute, absolute favorite product, Fridge Smarts. How many of you are familiar with Fridge Smarts? These will keep your produce two to three times longer than normal. They have a special venting system on the top 
and pictures of your most common fruits and vegetables on the side. So based on what you have in here, it's gonna tell you exactly how to vent the top to make your produce last the longest. But when you vent it properly and have it completely dry when you put it in here, your produce is gonna last two, three, four weeks, even longer. The drier your produce is, the longer it will last in the fridge smarts. Strawberries, two weeks. Lettuce, three weeks. Grapes, a month. Blueberries, forever. You will see these in my online catalog as well. We have many, many different sizes. Those are our top sellers that I wanted to show you tonight. Those items are the items that my hostesses will choose free or half off when they have a party. Why would you invest full price when you can get them free or half off? Date a party tonight for yourself and help the hostess and in turn you will get these products for free or half off. I really hope you enjoyed this segment of the party and please feel free to comment below with any questions you might have. Thank you for letting me join your party and be sure to stick around for the next part of the party. Bye! Bye!